In January 2016, I traveled to India to retrace the footsteps of my guru, Bapuji Kripala, and to further explore the roots of Indian spirituality. I arrived in Mumbai, the gateway to India. Formerly called Bombay, this city is famous among spiritual and pleasure seekers alike. Mumbai is a crossroads where you find the latest technology with vestiges of the ancient past. In the heart of the city, at the top of Madhabag Ridge, a sacred area inaccessible to traffic, I was able to find Jagadambad Temple. Here Swami Kripalu, in 1932, at the age of 19, met his guru, Lord Lakulish who saved him from suicide and introduced him to the path of yoga. Leaving Mumbai, I traveled by boat to Elephanta Island, where I marveled at the ancient statues of Lord Shiva, carved into the cave walls. Lord Shiva is the original source of our guru's yoga tradition. Elephanta. Carving the rock. The next step of the journey was Malav Ashram and Temple, where Bapuji Kripalu's body is entombed. There we celebrated Mahasamadhi, the anniversary of his passing in 1981. In 1974, I spent many months in Malav, meditating under the guidance of Bapuji Kripalu and his disciple Rajarshi Muni. Now we're at the Malav Ashram where Bapuji did sadhana for so many years in solitude. Now the place is changing rapidly. When I was here, there was just this small group of dorms over here. Then they built another wing, and now everything is being transformed. And we're celebrating the anniversary of his Mahasamadhi when he left his body in 1981. Varohan is the place where Bapuji Kripalu was guided to erect a temple around the rediscovered Shiva Lingam, a meteor stone statue of Lord Lakula Shiva. Before the statue's rediscovery in 1866 by a farmer digging in his field, it had been buried for centuries to protect it from invaders. Originally, I came to India in 1974 for the installation of the Shiva Lingam statue in the Kairavrohan temple. On the wall of the temple's main court, there are carved images of Kripalu performing the key spontaneous yoga postures and gestures leading to enlightenment. There are three floors of the temple symbolizing the three levels of yoga mastery in the body. Below ground, the pelvis, mid-level, the heart to palate, and the top floor, the upper skull. The top level is divided into outer and inner courts. In the outer court, public worshipers gather to pray. The inner court, or Holy of Holies, contains the statue of Shiva, where the priest performs elaborate rituals. Here I joined the head priest and Ananta Dev in these rituals. I 
बर्तनिया के आंसू जरे थे मंगल गीतो गाय प्रभु तारी इच्छा थी बधु था तारी इच्छा थी बधु था प्रभु तारी इच्छा थी बधु था He is the number one yoga teacher in Gujarat. No one can do the postures, the asanas, and has the knowledge of the practice of hatha yoga, like a lot day. And he and I are friends since 1993. I had the great honor of helping Ananta Dev as he was preparing a special feast to be offered in the temple. Less than an hour's drive from Kairavrohan lies the boy, the birthplace of Swami Kripala. As a young boy, his parents called him Harimai. He lived in a humble home with his parents, brother, and sisters. Here we see a photo of his brother, Pagal Maharaj, later known as a madman of God. Now this humble home has been converted into a shrine in memory of Kripalu and his family. The caretakers of the shrine were generous in opening it to me for an afternoon of chanting. After leaving the boy, I met these children on a pilgrimage to the river. We enjoyed chanting together. Nearby, I found the holy Narmada River, where Bapuji did his spiritual practices as a young monk. One day, he nearly drowned in the river's dangerous currents. He was saved by the voice of his guru, who told him, surrender. As he did, he floated to safety. Back in Kaya of Rohan, I made a surprise discovery. I met the unknown niece of Swami Kripalu, Kokila Ben. She was enthusiastically teaching religion to a group of young boys in an open-air museum of excavated ancient carvings. Jai. Jai. Finally, I arrived in Jakan, Gujarat, where Rajarshi Muni, successor disciple to Swami Kripalu, has erected another temple. This is a magnificent triple temple dedicated to all three aspects of God. Rajarshi Muni has established university-level accredited courses where Western students can study and become certified in the yogic arts and sciences. We arrived on Rajarshi Muni's 85th birthday, celebrated with Western and Indian disciples together. We also visited the headquarters of Lakulish University, a beautiful futuristic style building in Ahmedabad. Throughout my travels in India, I found many enduring examples of Swami Kripalu's legacy. 
Thanks to the exceptional team of teachers like Ananta Dave, new generations are being inspired to commit their lives to the teaching and practice of yoga. Krishna Chandra Bhagavan Ki Shri Sad Guru Devani Om Namah Parvati Pataye Hara 